Welcome to the video on Stan Weinstein's trading method. In this video, we will explore how to short sell stocks. Concepts discussed here can be implemented on daily time frame and on short term time frame as well. You can apply Stan Weinstein's method on stocks, commodities, currencies and ETFs. This works extremely well across all asset classes. I will be covering case study for each asset class for you to understand this trading strategy better. So let's get started. Before we get started, I have covered the first part of this series where I've shown how to buy stocks based on Stan Weinstein's method. In case you have missed that video, link to the same will come up at top right end of your screen. So this is how you have to set up your charts. I have marked out standard candlesticks along with 150 period moving average on the chart. And if you look at the bottom panel here, I have the relative strength RS indicator. Stan Weinstein prefers using 30 period weekly moving average. And since I prefer using this on a daily time frame chart, I have adjusted the moving average parameter in the same ratio. Candlestick chart and moving average is available across all technical analysis platforms. And for relative strength RS indicator, I have mentioned the code for the same in the comment section below. Let me now explain the relevance of each of these before we get to the entire trading strategy in detail. Now in part one, we had seen that Stan Weinstein recommends buying stocks that are coming out of stage one and transitioning into stage two. For short selling, Stan Weinstein recommends focusing on only those stocks that are moving from stage three to stage four. This concept of identifying stages within stock is something Stan Weinstein recommends throughout his book. As a rule of thumb, whether you want to buy or short a stock, always begin by conducting stage analysis on it. Once stage analysis is complete, you can then apply rules in the first and current part to identify trading opportunities in the market. On this chart, you see the 150 period moving average on a daily time frame chart. Moving average here is used to define trend of price and to determine ideal entry points to short sell. Now Stan Weinstein recommends to only short sell those stocks that are clearly in stage four of Wyckoff price cycle. Stage four is where price moves lower with momentum. And these are the times when one should go ahead and initiate short sell trades in the market. Stan also emphasizes on price pattern validation that is prior to breakout. And I will be explaining this in the case studies I take up. In this chart, for example, price moves below the 150 period moving average after having broken down from a clear triangular pattern. Do note that Stan also recommends checking for certain volume conditions, which I will be covering in the subsequent slides. Let me now move to relative strength conditions that we have to follow for this short selling strategy. In the lower panel of this chart, this is the relative strength RS indicator. I have given details about the same in part one of this video. For those who are new, do note that RS is completely different than RSI indicator. Code for RS indicator for tradingview.com is given in the comment section below. Now while short selling stocks, Stan Weinstein clearly states that relative strength RS indicator should be moving lower. This would mean that stock is underperforming the broader market and would be a prime target to short sell. If you are trading stocks, you should use broader market index in your own market to plot relative strength RS indicator. Now this will differ with each market that you trade. For example, if you're trading in the US markets, then plot RS indicator against S and P 500. I hope this point is clear in this chart as price had a breakdown below range and below the 150 day moving average. Look at what relative strength line did here. RS indicator clearly moved lower and these are the kind of setups that you need to focus upon. In case you trade currencies and commodities, I will be explaining later as to how to plot RS indicator for these asset classes. So let us now look at role of broader market while short selling stocks. Now role of broader market is quite often underestimated in short selling any asset. Stan Weinstein clearly states that short sell trades are more profitable and more easier to manage if broader market trend is also down. Now during back testing, I did find a lot of merit in this rule. And therefore I would strongly recommend for you to look at broader market when you attempt to short sell. Stan also advocates 
top down approach before deciding to short sell this means traders should first check for broader market trend then for sector trend and then for individual stock trend now if you are trading in the indian markets you should first check trend of nifty 500 then for sector index like banks and then check trend of individual banking stocks similarly if you are trading in the american markets you should first check trend of s&p 500 then for sector trend like technology and then check trend of individual stocks like apple or facebook i hope this overall concept is clear do note that all these conditions that we have discussed till now can be applied in long trades as well so let us now look at role of volume in stan weinstein trading method in the first part i had left out volumes on purpose this was mainly because i wanted to explain it with this part where i cover short sell trades now do recollect that volumes represent commitment of traders and therefore tracking volume is essential in determining potential price movement when you are looking for long trades prefer volume expansion when price moves above the range and above the moving average similarly when you are looking to short sell volume expansion should be visible on the upside once price moves below the range and below the moving average now do note that volume condition is more important when you are short selling as at times it takes little more time for volumes to return on the long side this is an important rule and therefore do keep this in mind at all times let us now look at couple of charts with respect to role of volume in both long and short trades in this chart as price comes out of stage 1 and enters stage 2 look at the relative strength rs indicator very similar structural movement is visible here where rs line starts moving higher this clearly reflects stock is being bought into as it makes a transition from stage 1 to stage 2 now look at the volume activity here on the chart there is a clear pickup visible in volume as price starts moving higher this clearly denotes presence of strong players in the market and such stocks should be bought for trading when it comes to long trades in the market condition of volume should be followed with a caveat that volumes do take some time to come in at times therefore don't judge the trend so early now when you are short selling you should at all times expect volume expansion on an immediate basis let us now look at two charts to understand the same in this chart price is transitioning from stage 3 to stage 4 This is visible in price action in this range and in relative strength RS indicator which is moving lower. Transition of price is happening in form of price moving below the range and by price moving below the 150 period moving average. If you look at the chart as price started moving lower there was clear pickup in volume that was visible. Prior to the down move look at the volume activity in this region. Volumes were clearly on the lower side. and this was reflecting lack of commitment by traders when you spot this on chart always mark this out as a high probability trade down move in price on back of volume expansion is one of the most important rules when you consider to short sell a stock i'll also recommend to you that during stage analysis of a stock do take out the time to conduct a thorough volume analysis you should take notes of direction of volume expansion in order to analyze overall demand and supply in this chart something very similar is visible when you compare it with what we saw in the previous chart price transitions from stage 3 to stage 4 by moving below the 150 day moving average and below well defined range that i have marked in this region take a note of relative strength rs indicator as well as price moves lower it clearly moves below the moving average indicating underperformance by the stock now prior to this do look at structure of rs indicator it was clearly flat and did not reflect outperformance by stock when it was moving higher as price moved lower below the range look at the volume expansion that has taken place volumes clearly picked up after the breakdown now this is one more example of how it plays out on a consistent basis and as a trader you should be on the lookout for such pattern at all times let me now cover some specific rules on when not to short sell these guidelines were clearly written in stan weinstein's book the first rule is not to short sell based on pe ratio of the stock too many traders make the mistake of short selling 
based on high valuation levels. Avoid doing this at all costs as valuations can clearly get more expensive. Second rule is not to short sell based on recent movement in stock. When a stock runs up too much over short term, natural inclination of traders is to always short sell it. This should again be avoided. Third rule is to not short sell when stock is above 150 period average or is currently in stage 2 of price analysis. This is again a very common mistake and traders should keep this in mind. Based on Stan Weinstein's method, short selling should only happen in stage 4 and when price is clearly below the 150 period moving average. These are the two basic conditions which always must be followed. Let us now look at three case studies to understand this short selling strategy better. The first case study we will consider is that of gold. Now I have not taken gold futures data and hence I don't have access to volume data. Back in 2018 if you see gold was moving higher and was outperforming the commodities index. In this case I have taken Reuters CRB index to plot RS indicator against gold. Now if you want data for Reuters CRB index then let me know in the comment section below. I think it is available for free and I will post that link. In May 2018 gold started transitioning from stage 3 to stage 4. I have marked the same in this region. Over the next few sessions price moved below this range and below the 150 day moving average. If you look at the relative strength RS indicator it has clearly moved lower as well. Gold back then was a clear case of short sell based on Stan Weinstein method. Now if you think this is easy to analyze only in hindsight then look at what has happened to gold in current times. It has clearly given a breakout in 2019 based on Stan Weinstein's method. Following the breakout price has moved from 1230 to about 1500 over the next few months. The second case that I'll take up is that of Apple computers. I have plotted relative strength RS indicator against S&P 500. Back in 2015, Apple transitioned from stage 3 to stage 4 with price moving below the range that I have marked along with RS line moving lower. This clearly reflected that Apple computers was being sold into with each passing session. Underperformance with respect to broader market that is S&P 500 was clearly visible. Now look at the volume activity here. Volume clearly expanded as price moved lower. This is again a classic case based on Stan Weinstein's trading method. To add one more filter, you could have plotted RS against Nasdaq index to check if Apple computer was underperforming the technology sector. This is again an important step to confirm the overall bias of the trend. Now whether it is stocks or commodities, application of Stan Weinstein trading strategies across all asset classes remains the same. The third case that I'll take up is of Maruti that is one of the leading stocks in our market. Maruti transitioned from stage 3 to stage 4 in this particular region that I've marked. In the last quarter of 2018 price finally broke below this range. As price was transitioning look at how RS line was already indicating underperformance by the stock. As the breakdown finally happened Look at how price moved lower with momentum and look at the volume expansion that I've marked here. Clearly stronger participants entered the stock and drove it lower. If you also recollect, this was also the time when auto industry started to underperform the overall market. I hope you can see how effective Stan Weinstein's trading method is to identify high probability setups in the market. It is clearly based on a structure of studying the market from a top-down approach and hence your probabilities increase when it comes to success in market. Now executing this in real time certainly takes practice but it is certainly doable. Let us now take up silver as an asset class to understand its current structure in the market. In 2018 silver moved from stage 3 to stage 4 with price moving below 150 period average and with relative strength indicator clearly moving lower. Do note here that I am plotting RS indicator against CRB index. Based on the relative strength index, it was clear that silver was underperforming the entire commodities basket. In the last quarter of 2018, 
silver moved from stage 1 to stage 2 although this move did not last for long from a stage 3 base price then moved lower to stage 2 in 2019 if you see price has again transitioned from stage 1 to stage 2 during the same period look at rs indicator it has clearly moved higher based on the current structure silver remains in stage 2 phase now this means on every retracement silver should be bought into based on stan weinstein's method i have taken up a current case so that you can learn how to implement this on a real time basis do remember that stage analysis and relative strength are two tools which will help you focus on the right asset class to get better at this trading strategy make sure you practice stage analysis thoroughly this is extremely crucial for you to implement this strategy effectively in case you are trading a stock or a commodity and you want to know which index you should select to plot relative strength rs indicator then do let me know when i began implementing stan weinstein's method it took me considerable amount of time to understand which index i have to apply for which asset class therefore in the comment section if you have doubt about this then just let me know and i will suggest an index for you let me now outline the most important guidelines when it comes to stan weinstein's trading method i would strongly recommend here for you to take screenshot of this slide step one always begin with stage analysis of the stock clearly mark out stages on the chart remember to take long trades in stage two and short trades only in stage four step two use 150 period moving average to check the direction of trend long trades when price is above the 150 period moving average and short trades only when price is below the 150 period average step three always focus on relative strength line for long trades rs line should be trending higher and for short trades it should be trending lower step four do remember the importance of broader market prefer taking trades in the direction of broader market trend in case you are taking trades against the broader market then keep your position size small step five always check for volume expansion in the direction of your trade this is an important rule and this should not be ignored now these two parts of stan weinstein trading strategy can be used for both investing and trading Stan's framework is extremely simple, but it is very effective even in current times. Do watch the previous videos on relative strength that I've done as I've covered many concepts in great depth. Link to all these parts will come up at top right end of your screen. I would also strongly recommend for you to read Stan Weinstein's book. If there is any doubt you have, then let me know in the comment section below. So kindly consider hitting the like button and sharing this video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys, take care and be safe.